job button. Let's go home. Picture. My dad just came to the house, uh, got all the stuff loaded up, just stopped and got a biscuit at Bojangles. You already know. I film a lot of stuff and then I don't use half of it. This is the cringy part, the stuff that I don't like doing. Talk about what you're doing like people give a shit. <laughs> we got the G8 on the trailer. Thanks to dad with his pickup truck. Say hey dad. Hey, choppa choppa choppa. There you go. We've ran into problem after problem. You see it's uh, 140 and we're finally on the road. I ran into issues per usual. Um, we were draining the fuel and I thought I burned up the fuel pump. And I think after talking to some buddies, I think it's just cause my tank, it's the, you know, the J's have the saddle tank. So I actually ended up getting more fuel out of it than I thought. It's priming, so uh, we're just gonna send it. I already swapped the injectors over. We did it in the gas station parking lot. Why not? And so we're on the way to Rick's now to get this thing tuned. So hopefully all goes well. But with me, you never know. Everything goes wrong, it seems like, when I'm trying to do car stuff. <laughs> and then 2.4 uh, it changed some of the shift property tables so I had transmissions where you know what was shifting crisp and firm before wasn't shifting good anymore so I was like all right yeah. well that's another thing I had to change oh that explains what happened when Jack did his little tweaking on it yeah because it was uh, dude I put it in manual mode and I wouldn't even be near 4,000 rpm and it would shift on its own I'm like what the f 
Yeah, third. It sh- it would short shift third and fourth. It'll go right yeah. to fifth. It'll halfway through third. Yeah. It goes right past fourth. Goes right into fifth. Yes, that's exactly what it was doing. Yep. Yeah, and they moved a bunch of stuff around. So it had me thinking my transmission was hurt. Trans feels good. It's just Sweet. a matter of just dialing it into where it's happy. Working on some downshift stuff here, so I'm just rolling into the throttle. like 70 at one time I was like there's no way we're doing 70. We're I mean I've driven enough cars 50. that I feel really? like I'm doing the speed limit and I'm like no. So I messed around with it. I reloaded a few times. It's like I'm telling you it's, it should be right. I'm going to do this one more time. If it doesn't work I'm putting the, the what I'm off by 391s would put it exactly where it needs to be. Right. Put 391s in boom. He was right like, where it needed to be. I was like, like really? 391s. Dang. He's like are you sure you bought 345s? I was like Dang. the guy said Dude, they were. 345s. I was like listen. The sticker the said? Lie. Yeah. <laughs> no. It don't Someone lie. could put gears in a rear end yeah. and not change the sticker. But yeah. That's yeah. true. That's exactly what had to be that's done. That's true. Which when I got there that, that guy um, there was a bunch of other diffs laying around. Oh so really? I'm a, maybe he gave me the wrong diff. So I guess I'm going to go bigger can now. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's always got to, you really need more cam for need more cam, especially with a 391 with, with the 345s. Yeah, now with 391s, even more so. Yeah, right. I kind of want to see what it'll run on this, too. Yeah, I kind of am curious. Just I would. I yeah, would. see what it does. Just see what it does. Let's we'll see what it does. You think I should, considering now it's got 391 and we do the dominator, should I just stick with the same size tires I've been doing? The 28s, you, you go 28. Hit the road. Let's go home. Let's go home. It smells so much better on E85. Took it to Rick today. He redid the tune and come to find out the issues I was having with my, my transmission. HP Tuners did an update recently. I thought my trans was bad. Come to find out, my trans is fine. With that new update, they changed how you tune and set up some of the trans stuff. And when I had Jack redo the tune, that was since HP Tuners did a new update. It's been years since Rick's tuned my car. With my son being sick and everything going on in my life's been crazy. I, I put the car on back burner for a while. I even thought about selling the car. Um, luckily, my awesome wife was like, no, you're not selling the car. The kids love it too much. You love it too much. What Rick was telling me, uh, he explained it. It went right over my head because I have no idea what. I, I don't understand tuning. That's why I don't do it. I'll do everything else. I'm just not going to tune. <laughs> so I, I'll leave that to Rick. Rick's the man when it comes to that stuff. Uh, so after he got in, it drove for a little bit. He said my trans was fine, which was like whew. the crazy part was I bought a set of 345. 345. So I found this guy. He had posted it, 400 bucks. Bought the diff. 
uh, I walk up to it. First thing I check is make sure it says 345. It said 345 on the sticker. It had it said LSD on the sticker. I want to make sure it was definitely LSD. Cool, looks good. Turned it. No crunchy sounds. That's about all you can do without taking the cover off. I was like, cool, looks good to me. For 400 bucks, I, I wouldn't have cared if the gears were trashed in it. I would have just put a torque worm in it and sent it. When Jack was trying to tune it, my buddy, he couldn't get the speedo correct at all. It was off by like 12 miles an hour at least all the time. And he thought he was just not doing it right. Well, you were, Jack. Uh, you were doing it right. Um, it was that it's actually a 391 that's in the diff. The problem is that is a super, super aggressive gearing. So I guess the plan now, I'm going to just drive it like it is. It runs great now. It's only 85. Um, it definitely feels faster. It always feels faster when you're in the passenger seat and you're holding the camera and the laptop. And Rick is sending it. 391s, Rick was like, well, it's time to put a different cam in it. He said, time to put a Dominator in there. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm kind of done working on the car right now. I kind of just want to drive it and enjoy it. Uh, kind of overworking on it, especially since it's cold outside. I just don't feel like doing a cam swap. It's cold. I don't have a garage yet, so I subscribe so I can start making money doing this, and I can quit my job and have a garage, and me and Nick can build even crazier, cooler stuff. So like and comment and subscribe and all that other cringy shit youtubers ask you to do i'm just gonna send it like it is um uh, i would like to be able to see see a 10.7 10.7 whatever out of it if i run 10.7.9 i'd be happy with that that's two two tenths faster with pretty minimal stuff being done to it i'm super excited my trans is not bad i was worried about the trans trans is good i got a crackhead deal on a 391 gear and it gives me an excuse to go bigger cam and go faster, which who doesn't want to go faster? One other thing I want to put in here, shout out to Doug. Thank you, dude, for letting me use your trailer. Shout out to you, Dad. Love you. Thank you for going on that crazy adventure with me today. That was a headache, to say the least. Just get just to get to Rick's was a headache. Um, so, yeah, um, that's it. Let's go do some pulls.